Please make it so this Trials weekend is normal. Not one tapping insta-kill weapons. Not servers getting ripped in pieces every 20 or 30 minutes. Just let us have a normal weekend while we chase one of the best weapons in the game. There's a really good PvE and a really good PvP role for this GL right here. It's got bait and switch on it. There's a really good role for each PvE and PvP. Let's go ahead and load in. To Trials of Osiris, I am using a Worm Husk build. We're rocking the Unending Tempest with Target Lock Perpetual as well as the Macabre. Let's go load into Trials, see the map, and hope for goodness sake, for goodness gracious sake, for whatever I'm trying to say, that it just is a normal weekend. If you're on YouTube, reminder, you can come to Twitch, connect your Bungie to your Twitch account, and you can literally watch the stream and get Trials loot for doing it. Every single week that's available. You watch the stream and you just get Trials loot for interacting with 10 matches. Connect your budget to your Twitch. There'll be an extension that pops up. Interact with it 10 times, you got loot. Radiant Cliffs. Oh God, that's not burnout. Everybody thought burnout because on the twid they were talking about burnout zones changing. So everybody thought it was gonna be burnout. Uh, This is an interesting map for Trials. I've had some bad experiences with it in the past. I'm very interested to see how it's gonna play out. Ooh, I thought that was a headshot. Almost ripped off a nice head snipe to start it. We got Macabre with opening shot snapshot. Our guy is not there, it looks like. The zone is in here, which is good. It's gonna force them to move. I'm not sure we've had trials on this map while zones have been a thing. Are we not gonna go for it? That's a good lightning grenade. There's one guy here. Hmm, this is awkward. I want to go try to help my guy up here. Well, we got the kill. See if I can slow him. See if I can get this on the res. Okay, we're going to take our time because they're both slowed. Perfect. And my teammate got in there. That's what you love to see. This round's been all over the place. Well, that was a frisky first round. I think maybe with zones on this map, this map will play a lot better. Because there's always this really awkward standoff on this map. With the team that goes in the middle and the team that goes into that room I was in. But this is going to force, like, different fights. Although this is obviously super advantageous for this spawn. So that's a poorly designed zone. That's really advantageous for this zone. Or for this side, I mean. Oh, shit. That Shappy just mapped me. Wow. I believe, I believe you're the goat. He is the goat. What gun is he using? I'm using Macabre and Unending Tempest. Is that what it's called? It's called Unending Tempest. Okay, I gotta be a little bit less snappy and quick on the shot there. Like, as I say that, I do it again. He's the goat. He's not the goat. I think I need more range. I think I want Synco Patient, and I think I want a Fusion or something. I want more consistent range rather than just going for snipes. We can still throw this on and just put Trespasser on if I'm out of ammo. One minute left, my friend. They're already on the zone. They probably got Titan Walls over there. Thank God the guy had to reload. But it's still not looking good for the squad. Almost. I'm assuming this is the guy with heavy. Yes, you have done it. I'll take it. No one left. I will absolutely, in a million ways, take that. Oh, man. Radiant Cliss is going to be so interesting. Shit, I don't know how I'm going to play this. Look, this is such a bad choke point right here. But having multiple angles is so important for moments like that. Just force them to be... There's no safe spot for them. When you got a guy here and you got the other dudes on the other side. But it's so dangerous that they all turn on you. Oof. Get him, teammates. He's super weak. Get him, teammates. Cool. I'll get him. I just want to, like, go for it, but I'm nervous they're just going to shoulder charge out of there. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Well, it's not going to get any kills, but it's going to allow us to be in a 3v2. And I flinched him off a of sniping my teammate, which is good. I still have a sniper on. I got to remember that. 
can still go for the snipies. Hell yeah, look at us go. Good win one. Pulse plus sniper means no long or no close range, but like that might work for me on this map. Sniper's gonna be good, but when you're out of snipe, the ability to have like the consistent mid to long range on this map is really important. So like when you run out of snipe, if you have an SMG on with it, it's kind of just not quite it. So yeah, I don't think it makes sense going to the middle when you spawn on this side in the zones in here. I feel like that first shot should have connected, but I'll take it. That man is gonna struggle. Perfect. I'm sure he goes hard. I don't know where to look. All right, so the guy up top's down, so it's just this guy left. He is not gonna challenge that angle. We could start capping the zone and force some movement here, gamers. Then there's no point in me going for a snipe when we could be 2v3-ing. Or 2v1-ing, I mean. So let's just wait for him to challenge. And then we go with our primary. Good try, dude. Very, very good try from him. Jake, how's your Friday going? My Friday's going great so far. Nice snipe, dude. That's a good play. I don't even know where he got the snipe at. What am I stuck? I'm stuck on my own ice. I was trying to move to the right that whole freaking time and was like, why can't I move? I'm on your team. Zavala's feet juice. Yes, yes, you are. I see you. I'm not too good at trials. You're fine, dude. You had a good round earlier. I believe in you, Zavala's FJ. See? I believe in you. Oh, no. That was so unfortunate. One minute left, my friend. That Titan wall showing up at that moment was so unfortunate. Only one. Enemy is left. Oh, one of them left. That's unfortunate for them in a different way. Respect still doing trials of all, even if you're not very good at it. Yeah, dude, I respect the hell out of people who are willing to try out things they don't feel confident in. I respect the hell out of it. I reckon using hand cannon sniper, dude, you can use just like almost any map. You can use tons of combinations of weapons, tons of combinations of subclasses, tons of combinations. You don't have to use anything. Okay, well, I think that's both of his snipes. Those are good peak shots, dude. Very good peak shots. I'm not even challenging I got hit by that. Nice, good work. The guy at my back. Use what you're comfortable with. I mean, dudes, if you, in case you don't know from watching my streams and my YouTube videos and whatnot, I swap my weapons a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I am constantly changing the weapons that I'm using. That's just the kind of player I am. A little bit of too long range there for the uh, sidearm. Right now, I've got stasis and arc on, so I can swap between any stasis and arc weapon, and my perks still apply on the armor. So we got syncopation we could use. We got peace bond. We got these different SMGs. We got trespasser for arc, sniper for arc. We got the pulse. We got the fusion. Sturm Drang weekend. It's always a Sturm Drang weekend. That should be the combination. I just always rock. Sunshot, no reprieve with the bouncing knives. Okay. Double hand cannon so far. Graviton, Lance, Immortal. All right, all right, all right. All right, well, two dudes running over to the right really fast. I'm going to close that gap. Thank you, Duskfield. Uh oh They're going to have Mori. Ow, man. Now I can't really challenge for a bit either. Dude, is there an angle here? Like, I don't know this map well enough. Holy flinch. All right, let's just start capping. I'm going to join this guy. We got another dust field if we need it. We should have all the angles covered here. Perfect. Dust field for that corner goes kind of hard. <laughs> Portable Abyss, thanks for the two gifts. If you connect your bungee to your Twitch, you can get two 
Or sorry, you can get an emblem and a shader for gifting two subs. And it's 25% off gifts until the end of Saturday, so... You can get that emblem and that shader cheaper than normal. Thank you, Portable. Uh oh. I feel a little bit nervous about pushing out here. I'm trying to watch that guy's angle. Did I hit the rock there? See, like, this is why... I, th I don't think this is the best combination, because now I have two close-range weapons. Uh-oh. That was not left. swell timing. My dude got this? My dude got this? My dude almost had it. You can swap, swap to the Philo Tactic. Good point. That would have been the long-range uh, arc weapon to swap to. Very good point. Reload this thing so it's ready to go. Gotta kind of like remind myself of where that res is so they can't just rotate to it. This guy is not gonna be able to rotate to it, that's for sure. Jake doing a lot of swapping today? I always do a lot of swapping. That's why I've got a bunch of arc and stasis weapons ready to go because we're gonna swap around all, all day. Like we always do. Rip those pull shots. Not rip to those ones though. Or those ones. Mm-mm. So I should probably have gone to the right because that zone's in there, but... Oops. Bad timing on you rolling back in here. I predicted he was going to do that, too. Am I allowed to ask if you're doing carries? No, you are outlawed from asking questions. As I have for all nine years that I've played Trials Butterton, the first card is not a carry card, and then every card afterwards is. I like to do a first card with either the homies or solo and just kind of figure out what the map is, kind of get an idea of how it's going to play out. Warm up with chat. Just kind of like make it a thing. And then once that first flaws is done, we're like, all right, let's bring a viewer in and let's start the carry process. Have you tried Philo Tactics Spiral with Keep Away and Headseeker? Yes. Bro, I can't believe I walked past you in Minnesota and we didn't know. That is so wild. Well, that's unfortunate. Ow. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to stop this round from being theirs. I don't think I'm going to get to. God, Igneous is just smacking me. Feels like it's hitting for more than 80, but I'm sure it's not. That sucked. We dealt a lot of damage to people. Oh, neither of my teammates dealt any. That explains it a little bit. Okay. Dude's ricochet rounding us. Good snipe. I'm gonna use that while I'm weak to go and flank from behind. Only one enemy is I have not been able to do anything yet this game. Only one oh damn, that guy was aping in. But my teammate was all over it. The Twins have an 18 game losing streak in the playoffs? That's bananas, dude. Kaboom. 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 Let's go. All right, we're having a good comeback this game. Ooh, I think I was going to hit that, but I didn't get flinched last second. Oh, man, this guy behind me. Good flank, Sir Sleepy. Good flank. All right, I'm gonna be weak for a long time because of that burning. Good team shots, baby. That's what we love to see. Perfect. I'm trying to come help, I'm trying to come help. Oh my God, he's so weak. Well, while he's that weak, let's go ahead and get this revive. Get this little baby orb. Let's watch these angles. Cool. I don't think that it's going to be as simple as just sitting here and capping, but I'm excited to see what happens. No bubble for you, gamer! Maybe it is going to be as simple as that. 
This guy's got to try to come in and use his well. But I've got my super. We're in a well. There's a tornado. Yeah, it's looking pretty unlikely. Good game. That game started off pretty buttholy, but ended up pretty good. Necrochasm. All right, all right. Cloud Striker Gamer. We got to be careful with the Cloud Strike Gamer. Little main ingredient. Okay, okay. How come you don't three stack for the first card when it comes out? I find solos to be way more enjoyable. Three stacking for my warm up card is basically just getting absolutely ran into by every amazing player you've ever seen while I'm trying to warm up. This is my warm up card. This is my like, all right, back in the trials groove, haven't played Destiny in a few days, like reminding myself how this game works. Like, it's very, very much a warm up for me. A lot of people in the threes playlist treat it like a tournament, though. Like the Fizzle teams, Panda teams, ZK teams. Like, they get on early. They're, like, warming up. They're sweating. They go in, like, guns a-blazing, like, crazy focus mode. And I'm just like, I feel like I just woke up from a nap, and I'm just trying out Destiny again. It's just not the right feel for me. But we'll go into 3v3 playlist once we finish the first card, and it's usually pretty sweaty for a while also. Sometimes we do a second card because it's still really bad for a little while. So sometimes two cards is the play. I'm gonna back up. That was a bad snipe. Only one enemy is left. One minute oh no, Pleb has died. Excellent. Dude just warms up doing flawless runs. What a beast. But I'm telling you, it's different than the 3v3 playlist. That playlist is scary. Do you have a favorite zoom level on snipers? Probably the beloved zoom. Whatever that is. Ooh, that guy crouched. That crouch got me. It is just you. Fight until you have nothing left. Okay, you I think I can get this res for free. I don't know where this guy's gonna challenge from. I guess he's maybe not even gonna challenge. Pulse versus SMG gamer, I win. If you just click on the right side of the screen, there's like a D2 button. It shows my build. When you click on viewer bounty, it links it can link your bungee to your Twitch. Hit Amy! Wow. That is why I need a new GL. Cause what the shit was that? I felt like I was aiming right at him for all three of those shots. They must have missed by a millimeter. Like my god. Might need to take that thing off, dude. We have 4,445 kills on it. It's not like I'm a noob with it. I've got a ton of kills with this thing. It's got proximity nades. It's got blast radius, masterwork, like impulse amplifier. This thing's supposed to be pretty fucking good. I was about to say that was not a headshot, but it wasn't. He was weak. I do like the sniper deals 159 to the body. If they're weak at all, they'll die to a body shot. Wendigo's pretty good. I mean, dude, normally this is pretty good. But I'm very much down to swap. I'm down to get a better roll on the GL that drops this week and change my heavy weapon. The memory interdict can be a thing of the past. I'm down. I like this sniper. Aw. Only one enemy is left. Hit Amy! Aw. Go get him, boys. He's slowed. Excellent. If this is that silence, then this guy is going to fry. He's going to kick our shit in with his peacekeepers and his shares. If it's that guy. Hey, he's on our team. We're going to go crazy mode together. Saw a peacekeeper on that boy. Let's go. Yeah, peacekeepers are a really good weapon. Or uh, exotic, I mean. Probably not as meta as Antius Ward, but very, very good. Only one enemy is left. There's two people over here. These guys are going in the most weird angles. Damn it! I got shot once by the guy on the left, and I... Ugh. This has been a bad game for me. Paltz, thank you very much for the resub of Prime. One minute left, my friend. It's been a bad game for me, for sure. This man is running. Yeah, that was a uh, rough game. Just didn't really get to do too much there. Flawless game. Let's get it. Speaking of GLs. Oh, 
God. They're all slowed, but I can't challenge. They're gonna freeze. Damn it. Very good Titan wall to save himself there. Only one enemy is left. I really wanted to. Oh, what the fuck? I did not expect that. Only one I really, <laughs> really wanted to try to snipe him while he was frozen. That was a good wall. He came back with a vengeance. Yeah, he did. I thought he, I thought he was still out here. I didn't see him make his way back in there, so it surprised the hell out of me. Okay, very good random GL shot. I'm getting shot from like, oh man, I don't know what to do. Okay, that's a good thing to do. I was hoping that guy would be weak. If that guy's weak, I'm in a great spot. Because I'll end up killing him, I can worm husk, and I'll be in a 1v1 against a guy who just got half health. But my teammate apparently did not shoot him. Why not just farm the GL in your flawless card instead of resetting? Because I like to go flawless. Usually I do, I'm doing trials carries. We're still on the first card. So I don't have a flawless card yet. And I like to go to the lighthouse with the person I'm carrying. Also, I feel like the drop chance is terrible. With the seven win cards. Nobody wants to challenge. Got one challenge, but a sad body shot. Okay, kept that guy weak. There's a guy really close to me here. The back up. There we go. Only one enemy is left. Yeah, so I'm, I'm supposed to be swapping to the Philo tactic for getting long range there. Not the trespasser. Because when I run out of snipe and I have an SMG already for the close range, I should throw on over this thing. Now I've got close and long. He slowed, even if it's for a second. There we go. Oh, God. Get the hell out of here. Grab that, heavy gamer. Okay, I'm not going to res you right now. Get my health back, and then I will. Also, my man's going in with his heavy. There we go. This guy's low. That guy's low. Another guy's low. He's getting the fuck out of there. Did not expect him to be running away while full health. One minute left, my friend. Okay, let's go ahead and get our health back. Also, we can use this rock as cover and make them start moving forward. One's going to go to the left. No, they're both back on the right. Mm, one is thinking about... It's hard to tell, honestly. Only one enemy is left. Yeah, I guess nobody was going left. Fuck, that other guy was actually ready for it. Okay, I'm literally on top of this guy. Only one enemy is left. Cool. That was a really confusing last round. I ended up right next to somebody. There were people fighting over there, so I was like, I can jump to this dude on the right for free. No one will see me. And I guess they stopped their fight really fast and were ready for me in the middle. All right, we're flawless. Good teammates. A lot of that card, realistically. Also some good opponents, though. All righty, let's see what we got. That doesn't look good. There's bait and switch, but slick draws on what we want there. The PVE god roll is a uh, spike nades auto load, quick launch with spike blade, spike nades auto loading or envious bait and switch. We got some of the rolls we wanted, but we don't have enough for it to be the roll I want to keep. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that thing. Slick draw, not the play. But, we got close, and we got good old PvP and good old PvE rolls to go for, and a full weekend to go for them, so we're gonna do that. If you just watched on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed. We're gonna be doing carries all weekend here on Twitch, so come on by. Get your trials loot for connecting your Bungie to your Twitch and watching the stream. 25% off gifts, you can gift two and get an emblem and a shader as well. Lots to do over here on Twitch. Make the jump over even if you just spend five minutes here.